Kia ora koutou. Welcome to episode 6 of the FFS series. Um, today we are on Law Dog's account. Um, he's asked me if I can do his Aspen Dungeon. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, he has already put his team in. Um, one thing I would have done differently is I would have put some split gear on the Unimax to maximize his HP. Because um, I think Unimax is going to be more effective for us than Valentino in Aspen. But let's go and let's, let's have a go. Because um, Unimax has a good self-sustain. Um, so he is pretty good in Aspen. All right, things are, I mean, this is still the first few levels, so I'm going to actually skip through a few. They're at level 70, the enemies. Let's see when they get to a higher level. Um, we'll then watch the fight and then carry on. Right, these ones are level 80. I don't think it is going to make much of a difference. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, now they're at level 90. Again, made no difference. So we'll skip through. And they seem to be, I've never really paid attention to the specifics of Aspen. Um, they seem to be leveling up every 10 waves. So we'll check back at 30, see if they're level 100. All right. so. At 36, we, have, we didn't check for the exact level, but they are now level 100. No, we don't want that. Gold, yep, we'll spend gold. He has 20 mil gold. How much spirit does he have? Because honestly, early game spirit is... He only has 5 million. I'm going to buy the spirit. Still at level 100. Right, let's just push for the 50 breakpoint and see if the enemies have leveled up at all. We still haven't, so each wave we're going into with full HP and coming out of it with full. So obviously our heal is uh, keeping us topped off. So we've got that first break point. Um, let's go... So this is the one 
which is, so basic attack is restoring self 100% of attacker's HP for two rounds. So that's where we're getting the healing from, uh, even at six star. And then this one, when a round ends, gains three times of healing effect, each time restoring self 50% of attack HP uh, as HP. At round four, dispels all control effects on self, increases 25% of crit damage, and gains rampaging effect. Rampage, skills or basic attacks, is guaranteed to crit and won't be blocked. So it's really frenzied taunt and energy overload, which um, give Unimax the healing, and then his active gives him damage reduce for two rounds. Um, at six star, it is 15% of all damage reduce. So he has a lot of self-sustain um, and decent damage, which is what makes him so good in Aspen. So I'm just going to actually keep skipping now, um, just so this doesn't take forever, until we notice we have taken some damage. Hopefully, when we get to that point, it is not the amount of damage that would kill Unimax, but we'll wait and see, I guess. Where is... Um, so normal 52 is the furthest someone has pushed so far. Let's see if we can't beat that. Could be here for a while. This is just a slow process. Process? Process of uh, just clicking through. Hopefully he doesn't mind me spending all his gold. Ooh. All right, guys, I will just come back. I'm going to double check. Um, see if he's buying any packs or anything this week um, and replenishing his gems and if he wants to pick up these five orbs. So give me a moment while I do that. All right, guys, no word from Law Dog. Um, so I'm just going to make the executive decision. Um, and while I was waiting, the GMs have sent out a um, apology for something to do with the Ormus's workshop and the materials um, not working properly. So everyone's getting five scrolls and 500 gems. So we'll claim that out. Um, the decision I came to is we're not going to get the um, five orbs because he hasn't bought any of the mysterious chests yet and potentially next week's events may be the Monopoly event again um, and then he'll need the additional gems to buy extra dice for that. 
So that's sort of my reasoning for not picking up this pack. Um, just because I don't know what it is he's aiming for or what he, he's, he plans on spending in the future. So we'll just wait and see. Um, and we'll keep pushing in the Aspen. If only there was a way that they made this a little bit faster rather than just like click, click, wait. Because like we're not having any issues with the waves at all. We're still always full health. And all we can do is click, skip, wait for the rewards. And I can't, can't really make it go any faster. While we're doing it though, um, I'll talk about the gem boxes this week. Um, everyone should try and pick up the 500 um, gem, gem box for the scrolls and promotion stones. They're the cheapest scrolls you'll get in the game at 100 gems each um, because you get five and the box costs 500. And then you should also go ahead and pick up the 1500 gem gem box um, because you get the four orbs there. So that works out to 375 gems each orb, which is cheaper than the um, pack we just skipped from the senior merchant. Oh, we took some damage. So we'll start watching here. Uh, so we have some actual five stars. Um, let's just jump in anyway. And put it on two times. Um, so those are the cheapest orbs you'll get as well um, outside of being able to purchase orbs for a currency that is not gems like in the arena um, with your arena tokens you can with 200 of them purchase orbs um, but we're still doesn't look like we're having any issues yet we do need to be careful though from watching that battle we do lose a bit of health um it doesn't look like we're close to dying yet though blood blade eh. blood blade is scary let's sacrifice the five star sigmund didn't do anything let's drop these others they're not gonna do anything for us and I think um, Valentino might be better here. <sighs> All right, and we'll jump back in with the Unimax. So hopefully, I think we might still be able to make it to normal, but I think that might be as far as we get. There's a lot of CC in this wave. We're just going to watch all the waves from now on. Unfortunately, we don't have any demon potions. Um, but things are looking fine still. So even at 6 star, um, Unimax, Unimax, Unimax has a great sustain in Aspen. Let's see, a single blood blade can be pretty scary. We still took care of him. The thing I think we're going to have the most issues with is blood blade waves. Um, I'm going to keep him topped off a bit. I think we should be fine going into this asthma wave. Not at 100. Uh, but just to make sure we get to the 
um, normal breakpoint or have the best chance of doing it, um, it's worth using the potion. So I'll top them off and we'll jump in and watch. All right, and now with less Asmos, we're fine. And we'll keep watching them until we get to normal, and then we'll go back to skip. Um, where was I at? So the, those, we've been through the first two mysterious chests. After that, I would not recommend picking up the next two chests. So the, um, skin pack, it is the cheapest in terms of gems that you're going to pick up a skin pack. Um, just because I think at the moment the only other place you can buy it is in the new Celestial Island, and I believe it costs 3,000 gems. Um, and Chaos Stones are always great for your monster upgrades. But the skins don't do a lot. Um, you Basically all you're going to do with a um, skin pack is fuse up those five skins and hope you get whatever you're going for and the um, skin fusion there's still a, you're more likely to not get what you want um, and then the 4,000 chest is yes they're, they're technically called elite shards but you have a very low chance of getting the elite hero that you actually want and you have a much higher chance of getting a non-elite hero um if you're extremely early game and you're whaling and have a lot of gems you can go ahead and pick it up um the dust is not really going to help um early game it's more for whales um because if you're that early you're probably not um maxing out stones yet And then the 8,000 gem chest is um, honestly fantastic value. Oof, Blood Blade. Let's watch this. We might die here. Um, so being able to get... Yeah, we're dead. Well, at least we hit normal. So that's not too bad. We're in the top five. Um... What would have helped us here is basically the only thing that would have done better because we are a full faction squad and we're locked in um, Fortress is a penny or leveling up that Unimax. He is just as good in Aspen as Penny is um, and he just looks cooler. So let's get that extra gold, a couple of gems. Um, so we just heard back from Lord Og there. We will, now that we're done, that's it. Um, see ya. He, I guess he's logging on to his account. All right, guys, we are back on my full faction squad. Um, account. Hope you enjoyed the Aspen Dungeon push. That's going to be it for this episode. Um, the next episode will go through some of the Celestial Island. I keep forgetting to record, so I'm going to wait until we get the either 9 or 10 anchors and then we'll jump back in. Um, you can see my progress. We're at 17.22% so far. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Kakite.